Here goes. I'm trying a different camera, I'm trying a different location, and it's dog walking time, so who knows what's going to happen. Hello and welcome to the Knitting Bear. Welcome back. Um, welcome. I've um, accepted a Vlogtober challenge by from Amy at uh, Happy Little Yarn, so I told her I'm going to do at least four videos this month. That's four, yeah, four, and see where it goes. Um, it's been really hard to keep up with the excuse me, I just had dinner too, with the vlogging because um, everything that I'm doing right now um, is just, work is really busy, I'm actually trying to have a social life, plus the yarn room, which is a spare bedroom, you're going to get lots of dogs tonight, lucky you, um, is, yeah, I, I call my spare bedroom the yarn room, well it's in the process of pitter-patter of big feet. Duke is very excited to see all the dogs walking by right now, and maybe Moose will come, um, seeing as I'm sitting on the sofa. So, where was I? Yes, uh, the yarn room, a.k.a. the spare bedroom, is being remodeled to become a craft room. So, it is an absolute mess right now. So, where I usually film all of this, I can't get into. And so, um, I'm trying to film this out in my, my living room, my TV room. So, here we go. Hang on. Oh, I didn't even get myself any water. Better be careful with the talking. So if you like this video, um, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the little notification. I think it's over here someplace. Notification thing. Um, send me a comment. Uh, tell me what you like. Uh, tell me what you're doing, um, where you're at. I'm new to knitting. I've been knitting about a year now. And um, I love it. And sometimes I get in over my head. Sometimes my head gets ahead of my, my skills. And most definitely my yarn collection has gotten ahead of my ability to um, knit, or the, the, the speed in which I can knit. So, let's talk about a few things. What I've been up to, oh boy. Um, first of all, um, I've been working on, well, what, what should we talk about? We won't talk about the KL yet. I have been working on mom's wrap. My mother loves wraps, and here come the dogs. Here you go, you're gonna get to see, nope. Um, she loves wraps, but she cannot wear wool. So the last one I made her had wool in it, and I didn't realize it had wool in it because, you know, those of us that love our little indie hand dyers tend to get a lot of wool. Oh boy, Moose is going to start playing. It's going to be crazy. However, however this works, it's what's going to happen when you do Vlogtober. Um, so I got this nap time yarn from Joann's, um, a star is born. It is in one of her favorite colors. She's a September baby, so her birthstone is sapphire. And it's a really pretty, pretty sapphire blue. And I am doing just a very simple, click, click, um, little pattern. Um, my friend, I think every, every one of us that have knitted for a while has done this, where it's knit one, yarn over, knit two together. Knit one, yarn over, knit two together. Uh, you slip the first stitch, knit the last to get an edge. And um, my friend, and my Jewish mama, Rhoda, taught me this, or told me, here, she try that. So um, I'm liking it. She likes a like, hi, Moose. Hi. Yeah, see, you finally get to see Moose. I sit out here, she comes to see me. So there's Moose. Do you want to help? Do you want you want to knit? No? Okay, you got to let me talk then. So um, that's what I'm working on for my mom. Um, it's a it's going to be a holiday gift, Christmas present. That's all far, far I've gotten. Good thing I've got more yarn. Um, so... I've been working on that um, to get that done. I always, I thought when I, all these people that said in August, yeah, I got to start my holiday knitting. I thought they were crazy. Um, I thought, why would you, it's too much summer to think about holidays. Uh, yeah, I should have started all this two months ago. <laughs> I, there's a learning curve for you. Start your holiday knitting in August. Right, Claire? Uh, so my friend Claire said, you should start your holiday knitting. I said, nah, I don't have to worry about that. I should have started the holiday knitting. So, mom's wrap. Um, and then, let's see what else am I working on. The actual holiday gifts for most of my friends um, are going to be dishcloths. And I have no idea if you can read what this says. 
Um, if you can and you have small children nearby, you may want to like cover their eyes or I may blur it out, but it is the FU 2020 dishcloth. Um, the <laughs> I just thought it was too cute. Um, all my friends are gonna get them. I've got all these little uh, sugar and cream fun colors because I thought, hey, wouldn't a fuchsia FU um, dishcloth be fun or a lovely aqua or maybe a pretty lavender and a yellow or the, the very watermelon, the salmon color I used. So all of my friends are getting them this year. That's what they're getting for me for Christmas. Um, I don't normally give Christmas presents unless it's um, a consumable. And what I like about this is um, it is reusable, unlike a sponge. Well, a sponge is reusable, but this is um, more sanitary because you can throw it in the uh, washing machine and, and clean it. Um, it'll last longer than a sponge. And then when it's done, it goes in my compost heap because it's absolutely completely biodegradable. So, hey, points for Paul for coming up with a fun, um, a fun holiday gift. So if you're one of my friends and you're watching this, um, you act surprised when you open this. So there you go. So that's the two things I've been working on. And one of the things I love about this, um, I, can do a, I can do one of these in a day. I could probably do it more than in a day, but as you see, when I sit here, the dogs start showing up and you'll probably see more of them. So the minute I start knitting, um, and this is my knitting spot, the dogs, um, the dogs show up. If you're going to do one of these, if you take it up, um, do not, I've got, um, and to weave in. Do not do it in a multicolor. This is the exact same pattern. Oh, look, someone's gauge changed. Um, look, someone's gauge changed. Um, this does not show up. Or if you want to give it to like your, your mom or something or someone, you hang on, which way is it up? This way is up. Um, if you want to give it to someone that can't really have that showing in their kitchen but still likes the idea of, of a dishcloth like this, um, do it in a multicolor because you cannot read it. You really have to look for it. So there's that. What else? Oh, mask. I have these all over the place. I have them in a car. I like, they used to, they've started becoming like poop bags. You know, those of you that have dogs you have to take on walks, you find that you have little poop bags everywhere. Like you stick a hand in the pockets to come out with a little plastic bag. I'm now that way with um, masks. I have them, we probably all do. So this is both a, Future Project, which I really shouldn't show you. Well, whatever. Future Project and a new um, um, hand dyer that I found. Um, we're friends on Instagram. It's uh, Blue Fiber, hand dyed in uh, Portland, Oregon. And so I asked for some of his cashmere. I think this is all cashmere. Let me look at it. Yep, 100% cashmere. Because I'm going to do, for some of my other friends, other people, uh, hats for the holidays, because who doesn't want a nice little cashmere hat or beanie or something? So um, I needed it in black, and he's one of the few people I could find that had a hand-dyed solid black. However, he made, what is it called? What, do they, what does uh, Bob Ross call him? A happy accident. I don't know if you can see the difference. Can you see the difference between those two colors? Try to get some light. Um, this one turned out real dark purpley, and um, it was supposed to be black. And he was like, oh my God, it turned out wrong. I'm like, oh no, because it has little bits of black that go through it. And it is absolutely stunning. If he can remember what he did, he should, because this is, it is so rich. It's not like black, black, it's, it's yummy. So I'm, I will, I said, oh, I'll take your, I'll take your mistakes too. So I, I took those also um, and I will be doing this. So check him out, uh, Blue Fiber um, Company in Portland, Oregon. Um, he's got a lot of great yarns. Um, as you know, I, I like to promote the hand dyers out there and the independent dyers because I just love what they come up with. And they're small businesses, and as a small business owner myself, it is, it's important to support our small businesses. And um, I find the most unique yarns when I do that. So next, next. Our, our knit-along. I'm buzzing through this, but... That's, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Our knit-along is, um, is a UFO knit-along. You're supposed to find a UFO and finish it. Um, it was it's supposed to be done by the end of October. Um, I'm making progress on mine. There's where I was when I um, started, when I found it. So I've knitted 
pretty good good way. I've got to fin finish this scarf. It is for my business partner, Dan. Um, so the uh, knit along for UFOs, um, you have till the end of October. So uh, take a picture. If you can do a before and after, that's great because it's always fun to see before and afters. I'm an interior designer. Everyone wants to see my befores and afters. So if you do that, that's great. If not, just post a picture of your finished project and um, on my Ravelry group, I have a Ravelry group under the Knitting Bear. Uh, I'll have to check knitting. I'll put the notes in the notes babbling on because again, this was just spur of the moment. I just finished mowing the lawn, thought I would come in and record this. So um, I'll put it in the notes how you can do that. Uh, so make sure that your UFOs get in there um, because what I'll be doing is giving away one of two um, Ted Knits UK um, sock sets. You can, you can pick your sock set. Um, he does, I'm in his sock, his, his um, sock a month club. And so he does some really cool ones. This is the, I think this is the September one. Whiskey in the Jar sock set. He usually puts the name on it, but, and I usually can't remember things. So this is one of them. I love this. Um, I've got two more in the other room. Um, if I happen to remember, I'll take a picture and pop them in, but I'm trying not to edit this so I can just do it, drop it on YouTube, and you guys can have a video. And I can have a video because I love hearing from you. Again, please, if, you, if you're watching this and you want to comment or say something, please do because I love reading them. I, I actually read all of them. I try to reply to all of them and that type of thing. So um, if you're doing the knit along for the UFOs, um, you'll, whoever, I, I'll do a random number generator and go one, two, three down from the entries and um, send someone a Ted Knits UK sock set. I'll let you choose which one because I've got a few of them. So where are we at next? Next! Oh, I'll look at this one. This is called a, I could have dropped stitch in here. No matter how much I, I, how much I knit, I still, I still tink. Um, and I, what happens to me with knitting and how I knit is that I get going and then one of the dogs comes and jumps in my lap. And so I, I have to stop and get the dog off my lap and then I forget what I'm doing or where I was and I have to start all over again. And I'll have forgotten that I had just purled to and, and I forget to read it and I think I know where I'm at and I don't do it. Or I get going along and I drop a stitch, which is ha what happened here with um, Dan's scarf. So I've got to figure out exactly how to pick that stitch back up because it's in a weird spot in the design. It's at the beginning. I'm pretty sure it's dropped because um, my numbers aren't working out right. I'm learning better to pay attention when I knit, and I'm really learning better how to um, to read my knitting. I will say this, the little FU um, dishcloth is great for me because I have to pay attention um, because it switches from knits to purls to create the pattern. So each, each one is different. So it forces me while I'm knitting, and I, even though I can knit them rather fast, to pay attention to what stitch I'm on. It also forces me, now that I've knit two of them, to look at it and say, hang on, this isn't right, go back and fix it, instead of getting to the end of the line, because you don't want your U out of, out of place, then you have a FKCU or something. Okay, next. Next craziness. Um, what else am I, oh, the Ruana is being worked on. I did a whole, I did, I did some work on it. Hang on just a second. <clears throat> Comes growling dog. Ruana. Monica, I am working on this Ruana. I love this Ruana. So um, I'm making progress. I've got all sorts of. Hey! Dog time. Um, if someone out there can direct me to an easy way to carry a yarn up on a I cord or can help me with that, I would love it. Because, see all those? Do you see all those? That is not fringe. I wish it was fringe. It is not fringe. It's everyone's favorite part of knitting. The uh, ends to weave in. Because who doesn't want a whole bunch of ends to weave in on your knitting? 
So I'm working on the Ruana. It's making progress, but it's all kind of on the back burner until I get my um, my UFO done and all of my um, my projects for the holidays. Once I get enough of my rags, a couple hats, and mom's wrap done, then I should be good to go back on this. And then Mon Monica from UP North Yarns, <sighs> Monica, if you're watching this, she posts such pretty pictures on Instagram. And any of us that have a yarn addiction know how fatal to that addi addiction it is to go on Instagram and look at those yarns. It's not fair, it's not right. And no matter how hard we tell ourselves, we still buy more. Well, she had, it's called Deeply Darkly. It was a one of a kind that she had done. And I said, oh my God, I love this. And of course she replied back, yeah, I know it's in your wheelhouse. And I'm like, well, no worries. You're probably doing it only fingering and DK. Oh, no, no, no. She had Aaron weight available. I have been doing a lot with worsted Aaron and bulky just because I enjoy, my fingers like the thicker weights because the thinner, I might, might just, I, I just enjoy them. Um, it's just my thing. And I'm like, Monica, and then, then she, yes, she's got them. Well, I said I probably would like it in non-superwash. Oh, I got that too. She's not being fair. It's sort of like, hey kid, the first one's free. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've got some of this on order that I'm gonna show you. And then Ted from Ted Knits UK is also dyeing some yarn from me. I sent him a picture because Ted works off of uh, nature and inspirations. He gets his inspirations from nature. And I found a picture of um, a peak in Yosemite National Park uh, at sunset, I believe. And I sent it to him. I said, do you think you could create something from this? And he said, huh. So yes, he's creating something and he's doing it in a bulky, which he doesn't normally do. But um, seeing as I sweet talked him into it, he's going to do it for me. And I'm finding that that seems to be the way I'm getting my bulky and worsted weight yarns is going to my 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 hand dyers, my indie dyers, and saying, hey, would you mind creating some colors for me in bulky or Aran or worsted? Because I'm trying to work with those yarns right now. I'm designing with them um, and creating with them. Well, hi, Moose. You come back? If I pay attention to you, Duke's going to be over here in my lap any time now. Yep, here he comes. Here comes the Duke. Hello, Bubba. Do you want to be in, in, yes, I know. Yes, yes, I know. Hi, hi, yes, but, I, but I'm recording. Yes, yes, I know. Hi, see, this is what happens when one tries to knit. So then I get, yes, yes, how are you? Yes, yes, but I, hi, hi, yes, thank you. You make it so much easier for me to do what I'm doing. Hi, baby, yes. Okay, you gotta get off. Ooh. Welcome to my life. So yes, hi, yes. Okay, you can sit here right next to me, right next to me. I have no idea what I was talking about. That's how I lose concentration on stitches because I get a dog in my lap. A cute dog, but a dog nonetheless. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm creating things. And my brain's making things up, but I'm trying to do it in heavier weight yarns, which brings me to me and Claire. Someday I'm going to show you a picture of Claire. I'm going to make Claire come on this with me. Um, she came up, she's, she's, she's taking pity on me and not making me work on the cable scarf right now. However, she has insisted, and I agree, I have to finish the cable scarf. So um, that will happen. I don't know when. It may be the last thing I do before I die, but before I die, that cable scarf will get done and I will master cables. But in the meantime, Claire has found this double brimmed hat that um, I don't have a, I'll, I'll send you, I'll put a link in the, there's a skein coming apart, a hank coming apart, um, a double brimmed hat that she has found that she would like us to knit. And it's a really fun one because it does, um, the inside of the brim is one color. And then as you wrap it around, you get a little band of that. And then the rest of that's another color. So um, she and I both had 
or I did, had lovely bulky fibers. Bulky fibers. Um, the, hat, the hat is in bulky, which both of both of us have decided we want to do more with bulky because the um, they go faster. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not Corona. That's dry throat. So um, this is Chibi Paka chunk, Chunky, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the I Ikiga, Ikige Fiber. Um, it's Superwash Merino and Baby Alpaca. So I found this at um, my one of my local yarn stores when I was going. Now, how is this for crazy? Went to my local yarn store, Woolly & Company, and they are carrying my good friend Ted. So I, I needed more of this, and I'm like, Ted, he's like, go check with Woolly. Woolly & Company, and I, lo and behold, all the way from England was two balls, uh, two hanks of the yarn I needed to, to work on something for um, my mom. So, um, hey, wow. So, but while I was there, because as one knows, you don't, don't walk into a local yarn store and just grab what you need and leave because something screams out to you. I found this beautiful yarn really like it. It's a white with a light gray. It's something I, a color I wouldn't normally use, as you might have noticed, all my, everything I do is very colorful. And then, um, Mint Rain, who used to be here in Michigan, but since she moved to um, Texas, um, she had this. This was like a one of a kind, and I really liked it, so I said, I'll take it. So then I have these two for the hat color, and I needed a contrast color. So, I'm thinking with this, which is called printing press, I will either use the orange or the rust or the black. Let me know which which one you like below. So um, those are the two, one of the two I will use for that. So that was that. And then with this um, Chibi Paka Chunky in color, color, cloudy twist. I'm thinking either this kind of um, bluey steel gray for the, the accent, or going a little wild with fuchsia. I don't know. I probably do fuchsia just because I'm weird. Well, not weird, but I'm just have fun. But that looks good too. So, comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, so, that's what's going on next. That's going to be our knit along. Uh, she's got a hat on her needles. I don't have a hat on my needles right now, which is odd because I usually always have a hat on my needles. But I've got a scarf. Mom's wrap, a Ruana, and holiday gifts, Christmas gifts. I celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate something else, lovely. I will wish you that. Huh? There's a surprise. My sister gave me this beautiful yarn for my birthday, and I managed to knit this much of my shawl for it because I knit things for everyone else other than me. But um, I got to work on that. Is there anything else? Um, I think. That's about it for this episode. Um, again, if you like, if you like this video, notice, hey, hey, by the way, I went from portrait to landscape. I remember it this time. So you get more knitting bear. Um, so if you like this, please hit subscribe. Uh, please leave your comments. Please like. Um, love hearing from you. And um, hopefully you'll hear from me three more times this month. That's the point. I'm just going to sit down and go through what I'm working on. Or maybe you'll see all of this, maybe I'll just keep repeating this video because I'll be doing all the same things all the time, but you'll see the um, my progress. Make sure that you look at the KAL for the UFO. Boy, it sounds like the army with all our little acronyms. Um, and enter that because you'll get a lovely sock set, uh, what someone will, uh, for, for doing that. And you'll get a project done, which is what I'm doing. And after that, who knows? Come here, moosh. Come here, moosh. So, thank you for watching. And until the next time, uh, peace, love, and some knitting. I'll talk to you later, or see you later. Bye-bye.